Howdy all, we're back, back again on the fishing thing. Now I've had my whinge and my moan about my GoPro and all the rest of it. That's it, that's done with. So yeah, that might help some of you out there. Right, for my next one, I have a bit of a list here. Uh, I'm gonna go through that uh, and I'll put pictures up here of what I've got for my sleep system and bed and chair for fishing. Uh, and just some of the reasons why I've chose these. It's not down to brand names or anything like that. Um, I begrudge saying the names, but it's what I've found over the years uh, to work well. And it works well with all my bibbies and everything that I've got. So, right, without further ado, uh, we'll jump into it. I have the Trekker RLX Combi Chair. Right, Trekker. RLX combi chair, why did I go for that? Reason being is, it's a combi chair and it'll fold up and it'll go on the bed. Rather than have a separate bed chair body, um, I can use it for that. It also comes out as a normal chair as well. Uh, but the beauty of this is I can take the cover off it and I can leave it outside and put the cover in the bivvy. It doesn't matter whether it rains or anything like that because the under mesh is just you can shake it dry you know what i mean uh and then put your cover back on and it's all fine so the chair is an all-rounder and it's light enough that you can take it stalking with you or whatever you can put a strap on it and all the rest of it uh and that's the reason why i've gone for that right bed i've gone for the trekker levelite els bed um I've gone for this bed because it goes quite low but also adjusts quite high and with being a taller person uh, it suits me well to lie down on it. I, I can lie completely flat and it's got the extra lumbar support that's what the ELS stands for extra lumbar support because I've, I do have a bit of a bad back but that seems to sort it out and combi combined with the chair it all works really well. So, you know, all the kit that I've got just tucks nicely under the bed chair at its lowest point. Uh, one thing that I have done with the bed is I've got um, a seventh leg. It, it comes with the six, but I've got a seventh leg. And I've attached that at the foot end because once or twice I have leant over. And as you all know, up comes the head end of the bed chair so I put the seventh leg on just to literally stop that happening and it works an absolute treat and we not being an eight legger is I've got that extra room for storage for everything to go under the bed because I like quite a tidy area I am a bit of a clean freak but if everything's got its place and then there's no issues with anything so that's the chair that's the bed. Um, I'm then going to press on to the mattress topper. I have a mattress topper. Now, the reason I've got the Trekker mattress topper is literally it stops all that bit of crap going on the bed itself. I mean, they're not massively expensive, but it does combine up to a good winter sleep system. Uh, and we're having the topper on all year round when you get the crap on it and all the rest of it it takes nothing just to take it off and throw that in the washer in fact I think it's in the washer now so yeah mattress topper uh, then I've got the thermal bed undercover now not a lot of people know what this is and it's all trekker but what it is is a, a quilt, uh, sorry, a cover that goes clips on underneath the bed chair, uh, and it's got thermal properties in that, some like insulation stuff. Uh, and it's very thin, but it works really well. It's between the mattress topper, the actual foam in the bed, and the the thermal undercover. It does stop an awful lot of heat, and you'll notice this a lot. Now, if you've got back problems or anything like that, it will stop that cold protruding through because 
anybody knows when you lie on anything and compress it you have a smaller air gap so with that being compressed you can find to the coal coming through now with this being underneath and all the rest of it it stops that coal from coming through and the whole entire sleep system that I've gone for my fishing trips is actually all thought of around hammock camping I'm, you know I am an outdoors man as well um, so yeah that's that's why I've gone for that uh, then I've gone for sleeping bag my sleeping bag is the ultra dozer trekker again um, it is a three season sleeping bag why three season and not a five season and all the rest of it because I can lighten the load without worrying about anything and if I've got things in separate bits and all the rest of it I can add and take away and so on and so on so yeah three seasons sleeping bag because come the summer months I have uh, the big snooze thermal bed cover um, now if you want to go for a full winter setup uh, you can have the mattress topper you can have the undercover you can have the three season sleeping bag and you can have the thermal overcover now that will give you a massively comfortable sleep in the winter uh, massively I have used it I don't do the winter fishing quite a lot but it works a treat it absolutely works fantastic but yet come the summer I can have the mattress topper uh, I always leave the undercover on but I can just use the overcover uh, the thermal overcover and yet again in the summer months that gives again a good sleep uh, and also with the system that I've got there um, I've used this with the Cayman Bivy uh, which is Trek it now anybody knows or has a Cayman Bivy you know that they're relatively low uh, there's not a lot of headroom but everything I've listed there works in the Cayman Bivy so I know it works with low bivvies um, the Avid Carp it works in that Fox Brawley it works in that but obviously my newer bivvies is the Titan Hide and the Titan T1 now it works in that as well perfect but it, it, it all round it, it it's a good system and it's a bit cheaper than some of the sleeping bags and all the rest of it but it works really really well so i think that just touches on the sleep system for my carp fishing now this will be shown in later videos and there's other bits to show as well but when i show you around in the bivy when I'm actually on the bank and I've nothing to talk about or I've nothing to do or whatever I can show you these bits and I can show you actually and being used uh, and then you can see for yourself and make that decision whether they're good for you or not uh, and also if you're buying this stuff it does cost a bit of money uh, a good bit of money but spend that little bit more now uh, and reap the rewards later because it does last I mean you are paying for quality so yeah the sleep system it, it is all pretty much one brand name and all the rest of it but it works really well and you'll see that on the bank so yeah it's lovely and sunny outside now uh, the clocks have changed uh, the lighter nights are coming in so I've been down the lake a few times and I've had a look around the carp are moving um, they're not as dormant anymore so my fishing campaign will start really soon now and I want to take you along with me uh, and hopefully I might be able to teach somebody something or help somebody out uh, I think that's it for this one so the next video will be down on the bank and let's see what we're using how we're using it what rigs what reels and all the rest of it and let's see it all come together 
and be used as one and it might touch out and help someone so until we're on the side of the bank guys tight lines enjoy the summer's fishing and i'll see you in the next one see you later